Hey everyone, thanks for coming back to this channel. Today we're going to talk about pots. I have here something that is called the magic switch pot. You can see up close. This is basically a robot that simply mimic the action of pushing a switch or a button or anything that can be pushed. Um, it will do for you. You can control it from your phone. Um, so even if you're not at home and you want to power up something, turn off something, this could definitely uh, do the trick if you don't have necessarily a smart home adapter or a device that already has Wi-Fi accessibility in inside the device itself. So let's open it up and see what it's all about. So the box itself doesn't come with so many things inside. Uh, when we open it up, it seems pretty basic. Instructions manual where most of it are probably in Chinese. But we can also see the side in English. We'll get to it in a second. And then we have the device itself. It comes with two tiny things that I will explain about in a second. A sticker and this is the actual device. So you can see it's very, very tiny. And this is going to be the handle that's going to push on the different buttons that you want. So you turn on the device by long pressing this button. Then we've downloaded the app by searching uh, Magic Switch in the uh, Google App Store. And you can see that we need to click here on Add Device. It found the Magic Switch bot. We'll click on Confirm. And so simple. Now when we click on On, see, and then Off, On, Off, On, Off, and this is basically all it does. Not complicated, but a lot of functionality. So you have a couple of options here. One is what we just saw, which is regular on and off switching. You can also decide to uh, have a timer. So when you go into here, you can basically say that after you press on the on button, it will uh, automatically uh, kind of push the off button after five minutes or 10 minutes or 20 minutes, whatever you want. Um, you can do the same for the on button as well but you can also switch to single single and double switching which basically just do a press and on press and off press uh, on the same time so if you for example have a button that doesn't need to be clicked on um, like a light switch so you just need to press it one time and that's it this will be useful for that. So this thing is for when you want to use it on a specific light switch, for example. Um, so this is going to be uh, on the switch itself. This, you can just stick it on the wall, right close to the switch. And then this goes through here. And when you click on the off button, you just takes it back off and kind of turn off the light switch because it stick to the actual button. There are two things I would really love that this product will do. One is a charging cable that currently doesn't come with the box. I know it's not a big deal because probably most of us have some spare micro USB cables lying around that we can use, but it's always nice to have one that comes with the item that you order. The second thing is voice command support, which currently this device doesn't have. You just need to use the app that you download. 
And you can say things like Siri, activate SwitchBot, or turn off SwitchBot, or Google, turn off SwitchBot, whatever. Um, it's not that bad, but just some something nice that uh, you would expect already with this kind of technology. But yeah, overall, it's a very nice product. I'm already going to use it in my house, and I'm really happy to see how we are advancing in producing smart devices that are not very expensive. I remember that a few years ago, buying smart devices to your house was something super expensive, and now you can find things in $10, $20, up to $50, um, and enjoy them, and they work perfectly fine. This one, I'm going to post the link uh, where I bought it in the description below. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please help me to grow my channel by subscribing, liking this video, leave your comments. Till next time, bye!